Hey there folks, John here with Through My Lens, and today I'm coming to you with another photography related video. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Alonzi F38 quick release travel tripod. Now like many photographers, I've tried and collected several different tripods over the years. For about the last 20 years, I've casually looked for a lightweight, compact tripod that I would be okay with for bringing with on a trip. A travel tripod. Something I could easily carry with me as I navigated airports or as I hiked across locations all day looking for that perfect photo opportunity, but I could never find anything that met my requirements. Now, here's an example of something that I was using prior to picking up the Alonzi Travel Tripod. This is a Manfrotto branded tripod that was marketed to big box stores like Best Buy uh, in the early 2000s as a travel tripod. It was all of $60 and I can remember thinking, oh my gosh, I'm so lucky to have found this. It was a Manfrotto branded product that was just $60. Now this was a long time before YouTube when you could see video reviews of products before you bought them and sometimes you just had to take a chance uh, and buy a product not knowing if it would work for you in your particular case. And this tripod did not work for me. Now at the time I was using a Canon DSLRs like the 40D, the 7D, and the 5D Mark II. These were heavier cameras with even heavier lenses. And what I didn't understand when I bought this tripod is that it was a consumer grade tripod that just wasn't designed to support the weight of a professional level DSLR. Now, I can remember excitedly taking this out for the first time and putting my full frame DSLR with a heavy 7200 lens on it with a ball head. Uh, and it just simply, the ball head couldn't support the weight uh, of the camera and the lens. Uh, it would just <laughs> do one of these numbers. So this tripod sat in my closet for years, uh, waiting for the right application and product uh, for which to use it. Now fast forward to about three years ago and the company Peak Design came out with their carbon fiber tripod, which was compact, lightweight, and featured a very innovative design and a whopping $650 price tag. Now they sent it out to every YouTuber on the planet it seemed, and the product was much loved and wildly successful. And for three years I drooled over these things. They just looked awesome. I love carbon fiber anything, and I always thought that if I had a nice, lightweight, easy to use, and convenient tripod solution that it would open up entire avenues of photography to me that were previously unexplored. But I could just never get past that $650 price tag. Now a couple of years after the Peak Design tripod hit the market, China did what China does, and Yolanzi released a competing product that was about half the price. Now the first version of this competing product was released as the Yolanzi Komen Travel Tripod, and when it came out, Yolanzi sent out free examples of their tripod to every YouTuber that wasn't already in Peak Design's pocket, and all of the reviews that I have seen uh, on this tripod are universally singing its praises, not only as a fantastic product in its own right, but genuinely better designed than the Peak Design Travel Tripod. Now folks, I really tried not to order this, simply because even though, uh, you know, a roughly $300 uh, price, $250 price tag was half the price of the Alonzi, it was still pretty tough to swallow for someone who really travels only a few times a year. But earlier this fall, I took a trip to Washington, D.C., and I brought my old man Frodo tripod with me, because now that I'm using lighter weight mirrorless camera and lens systems, the Manfrotto could actually support the weight of my camera. Now did the Manfrotto work? Yes. Yes it did. I brought it with me, I walked all over Washington DC with it, and it worked reasonably well, and I got some really great uh, long exposure photos that I would not have otherwise been able to get without having a tripod with me. Was it janky as hell and made me wish I had a higher quality tool to work with? You bet. So after the trip, I decided that I would try to buy the Alonzi travel tripod uh, during Black Friday when it would hopefully go on sale, which I did uh, because it did. At the time that I purchased the tripod, the regular price was $369.95. Uh, starting the week before Black Friday, Yolanzi had a 15% off coupon code, which I used. 
again, I've had my eye on this tripod for several months, and I've been watching deals come and go, and I never saw a discount available better than 10% previously to the 50% off coupon they released the week before Black Friday. I also purchased the kit with the accessory shoulder strap that was just a dollar more. Uh, the, pri the tripod comes with a very nice bag, and for one dollar, the shoulder strap uh, that attaches uh, to the bag is probably worth it. But if I thought I was going to walk around with the tripod in the accessory bag for an extended period, I'd probably just pull the shoulder strap off my laptop bag and use that instead because it would be much more comfortable. Now let me clearly and emphatically state that Yulanzi did not send this to me for review. I bought this with my own money, so this is my honest assessment. It's a great product, and I would highly recommend, uh, and, and as such, I did sign up for their affiliate program. And I do have some affiliate links in the description box of this video. I would certainly appreciate it if you used these links when you were purchasing the product. Now with regard to the inevitable comparison to Peak Design, let me make a few quick statements. I don't own the Peak Design tripod, but I have been hands-on with it, and I do feel a little bit sorry for Peak Design in that several elements of the Ulanzi uh, design were clearly inspired by the Peak Design tripod. There are a couple of things I like better about the Peak Design, uh, like the fact that the spikes uh, you know, that it has are built into the feet of the tripod. Um, with this, you have, with the Lonzi, you have to unscrew the rubber feet and screw in the, the metal spikes. Uh, and it does have uh, an integrated phone mount, which the Lonzi does not. Uh, but overall, the design of the Lonzi in general improves upon and is better than the Peak Design tripod. And when the price delta is factored in, the Ulanzi is the clear winner. Now, I should also note that there is a competing product out there on Kickstarter right now from a startup company called Hapi. I believe that's how you pronounce it. But if you do a YouTube search, you'll find that the company has sent several prototypes out to the YouTube photography community, and uh, it too reviews quite favorably against the Peak Design product. Now, supposedly it's going to be released sometime in January. If you ordered it on Kickstarter, you can get it for about $300, and while it was tempting, uh, ultimately I decided to go with the product offering from the more established company, which is why I chose the Ulanzi F38. Now, as I mentioned earlier, I did not immediately order the Alonzi Komen F38 when it was on sale earlier this year, and I'm glad I waited because in the last few weeks, uh, they've come out with uh, this newest version, uh, which incorporates the Alonzi F38 quick release uh, plate system. Uh, prior to the, the new upgraded model, it was just called the Alonzi Komen Travel Tripod. Now, I'm currently using the Manfrotto quick release plate system, which I've been using for a long time. Uh, in more recent years, uh, it would seem that the, the world has adopted the Arca Swiss system, uh, which of course is a competing quick release uh, plate system with lighter, less expensive components. So I find myself uh, using the uh, Betamax equivalent uh, when the rest of the world has gone uh, uh, DVD. <laughs> Uh, so I've been looking for a, a good reason to switch to Arca Swiss, and this tripod provides me one. The Alonzi F38 quick release plate system is compatible with Arca Swiss tripod heads. Uh, Alonzi also makes some other handy accessories uh, in their F38 lineup, which includes an attachment point that can be mounted to a backpack strap, and an accessory that will make the F38 quick release plates usable on a DJI gimbal, uh, which I also own. That means I'll be able to do a quick transition from carrying my camera on my backpack to my travel tripod to my gimbal without ever having to uh, change out the, the mounting plate. Uh, that's going to be uh, pretty convenient. Now, a tripod head is something that is very much depends on individual preferences, and I'll admit that I'm still getting used to how this ball head uh, on the Ulanzi functions, but they do include this handy dandy accessory that allows you to use your favorite tripod head on the Ulanzi Travel Tripod. Uh, this section uh, can simply just lift out, 
Yeah. You can just lift this out if you uh, if you remove it. You could swap it with this one, and you could mount your favorite uh, ball head uh, on the system. Now, if you did do that, it's going to be heavier uh, in all likelihood um, uh, because your favorite ball head is probably going to be heavier than what's on the uh, Yulanzi travel, travel tripod. But some people will find the trade-off uh, acceptable for the familiar controls of their favorite ball head. Yolanzi, of course, offers some accessory tripod heads of their own, including a, a fluid head designed for video use. But again, the biggest use case for me is that this tripod uh, is in fact that I do have a pretty bad back. Uh, so whether I'm just hiking in a local park or I'm traveling to another city or state, I need the lightest weight, most comfortable gear that I can buy. I also love how compact this uh, Yulanzi travel tripod is. It fits easily in the side pouch of my PGY Tech OneMo camera bag, which I do plan on reviewing soon. Now, at this point, there are a ton of videos which demonstrate how this tripod works, uh, and showing it being used in a variety of situations, so I'm not going to cover that ground. Instead, I'm just going to again state that objectively, I think this is a travel tripod. Uh, is the one that I've been waiting many years for, and I do believe that it may not only be cheaper than the Peak Design competitor, but also has a superior design, and at least equal to, if not better, build quality. Now, some people may make the argument that uh, you can buy the Peak Design Travel Tripod at a similar price point to the Alonzi if you're willing to get uh, the aluminum uh, version of the Peak Design, uh, which they offer at a similar $300 price point uh, in aluminum. But the aluminum version of the Peak Design travel tripod weighs about three and a half pounds, uh, or about uh, almost a full pound more than when it's in carbon fiber. There's many more tripods out there that are well below $200 at, at, and weigh less than that. Uh, Sure, you know, this this newer, uh, newer uh, tripod is not as compact, as you can see, uh, but, uh, you know, for the price point, a lot of people will be more than happy to, to use this as a, as a, you know, a portable travel tripod uh, because, you know, it's only about 3.4 pounds and uh, only, you know, I bought this for about 160 bucks. So, you know, given, you know, the two times price difference for the aluminum Peak Design version, uh, a lot of people, again, will be more than happy, you know, with just using a, a less expensive lightweight model. Well, there you have it. There's my review of the Alonzi F38 Travel Tripod. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Take care, God bless, and I'll see you in the next one. I hope you've enjoyed this production from the Through My Lens YouTube channel. If you did, please click on the like button and do share the video on social media. If you'd like to see more content like it, please do subscribe to the channel, follow me on Instagram and Facebook, and do check out Through My Lens at www.throughmylens.org.